Hello, hey everyone, I'm Joey Sparks, and uh, this is your reminder, God's mercies are new, again this morning. This morning with my mind. The closing chapters of John, chapters 18, 19, 20, 21, they all recount Jesus' arrest, and trials, crucifixion, and resurrection, just as the other Gospels do. And, and of course, after the resurrection, the interactions with the disciples. But remember, as, as John has been recording his Gospel account thus far, this is all about proving Jesus is the Son of God. And he does that through those signs, those miracles. Additionally, he also shows us some insights with how people interact with Jesus. That they are constantly formulating and beginning to think, what does it mean to listen to him, to observe his signs, to think about him, and what is it he's really offering? See, most of the time we don't get, we don't understand what he's truly offering. And we have to understand he's offering life. That's going to be John's clear stated purpose at the end of all this. It's chapter 20, verses 30 and 31. There are many other signs he did in front of his disciples, but I'm writing these. These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. So run every interaction with Jesus and people in this gospel account, run it through that, that filter of those verses. How do you see being brought to or coming to belief in Jesus? How do we see that belief that life leading to greater life, life in his name. Now, even in these familiar events of the last days of Jesus, you see, you see that same thread. How do we view these events through the lives of these people? Pilate's an example. It's chapter 18 of John, where you see Pilate interacting with Jesus. He has to, the Jews force his hand. They say, we have a law, and, and Jesus, because he's claimed to be the Son of God, deserves to die from that law. And now Pilate, you'll notice the whole time, has been hesitant. He hesitated to even take the case. He tried to say no. He eventually takes it because they say we, we're, we're, we've gone as far as we can go. We can't kill him. And so he listens to Jesus and he even asks Jesus what's truth. And, and he comes out and he tries to say, listen, this man is innocent. How about you let, me, let, let him go because I find no charges. And they choose Barabbas instead. So now Pilate's put in a hard place, an even harder place. And so he flogs him, he has him scourged and brings him out before the people and humiliates Jesus, hoping that this is kind of a compromise, okay? That, that since they wanted death and he thought he was innocent, that maybe we can flog him and that'll scare him a little bit and that will appease the Jews. Maybe he'll just die with the flogging and we won't have to do the crucifixion. Yeah, who knows what he was thinking? But it was clearly a middle ground option and it still doesn't appease the Jews. They demand that he is crucified. And Pilate still keeps trying to get out of it. And the text even says that when um, Jesus speaks to him about authority, that Jesus knew someone had greater authority than Pilate, that it scared Pilate. From that moment, Pilate kept trying to release him. He keeps trying to release him, and the Jews keep ramping up the pressure. So eventually, despite Pilate's intrigue and curiosity about Jesus, despite his desire to do the right thing, Pilate gives in and crucifies Jesus, allows him to be crucified by the, by the Jews. So think about that. Think about how easy it is, how common it is for us to be intrigued by Jesus, to be curious about him, to like a lot of what he offers. But then when the time comes to make a firm decision, a firm decision to be different from the crowd, to be different from the momentum, to be different from culture. We give in to that instead of, by, instead of doing what God has said and honoring what's right and true and pure and innocent. Interacting with Jesus, listening to him, will challenge us in that way. So may we learn from Pilate, see the life Jesus offers, and to hold on to him resolutely in all things. We thank you for watching this morning. It's our prayer that the timeless word of God will be on your mind all day today.